I have we have sticks. Do I have any more the raw bricks? Nope. Oh, I still have that jam. Now I probably should start cooking this or Oh, I had like another stack here. Oh, we should get on that. Uh, where the bowl here? And we will put vegetables. Or do we need grains? No, no, we don't. All right, let's get this cooked. And you know what? There are empty pots. Why did I even pick that up? And I'm just going to cook all of them. And then after I cook this, I'm just going to take meat from the uh, cellar there. Under normal circumstances, this would be like a bit- Whoa! What the hell?! Stupid- What the hell ladder? <laughs> oh my god. That was so stupid. But... Yeah, Alright, let's put the turnips here. The I still have the cheese wheel there, but we'll deal with it later. Okay, we'll put these in here for now. This, 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 this. Like, we'll deal with those later. And since this is almost done, I'm just gonna wait. In the meantime, we do need to make these beers. Oh, I still have flax in here. There's no room. Okay, I s put them here. Okay, let's get some spears. Now we don't have any more gears anymore. Oh, so we'll just do this. So when we go over to the trader, it's just gonna be our shovels and long blades. I should probably just take whatever stuff I have near the treasure hunter to the south. And then whatever I can't sell, I'll bring it to the treasure hunter to the north. Oh, you're still not done. Okay, fine. You know what? I still need to deal with those wolves. Still haven't dealt with it. But you know what? Probably should just leave these here. One thing I do need to do is, well, not put the turnips here, put the bricks here. Uh, where are you? The grass here. Okay, I don't have enough sticks with me. Or maybe I do. I do need to get some sticks though. Did I not have sticks in reserve here? Uh oh. We need to get some sticks, like right now. Like, all my sticks are in the permanent house, so you do need to collect as much of this as possible. Oh, it's a good thing I had trees growing here. Oh, 
Oh, come Don't do that. Alright, let's pick up all the sticks on the ground. Alright, that should be good enough. And then we'll put the peat. Of 16, 20. Because we do need more bricks for the bloomeries. Get these going. I also need to fire up some fire clay shingles, but we'll get to that some other time. Oh, my armor is still good. I still have these four spears there. Now I am going to take this, this, this. Put these over here. I do need to put the knife here. Go get some food. And did I have any spare bowls with me? Oh, here's one. So, let's do that. That should tide me over for the entire uh, temporal storm. Let's put... Uh, I guess I can take this. I'll have to deal with these later. I'll put the... Crocs outside. Or, not the Crocs, the Cattails. Oh, and I still need to make some more of the... Wait, where's my... Where's my flint? Uh, where did I put my flint? Oh my god, you guys. I fucked this up. Where is the rest of my flint? I remember having ten. And then it just, like, disappeared somewhere. Oh, there it... Why did I put the flint there? Damn. Like, we need more spears. So right now we have... Well, this is about... To, this counts as, like, not a spear. So we'll just carry this with us. I'll also use the opportunity to get some more resin from that area. Okay, how many do I have now? Four, three. All right, let's get like just one more, and then we'll have twelve spears. So I'll construct the spears uh, once we get closer. Okay, I need to throw this away. We don't need grass, oak seeds, pine seeds. We throw those away. And then, am I missing anything? Oh, that should be it. And I'm just gonna throw away these seeds over here. Don't need to deal with them. Uh, I hope someone will buy these linen sacks, though I don't know where to sell them. I'm just gonna put that dirt block there. So in the meantime, I guess what I'm gonna do... I guess we can just check on our beehives. We do have some ready to go. At this point, I don't really want to do anything with them. Or, you know what? Maybe I can. Cute. I want to use the blue clay. Okay, let's just start this now.
Like, it does take a long time to do this, so if we can just refresh this... By refresh, I mean, like, harvest them and then put down a new skep. Then that's another round of honeycombs that we can obtain. The storm is still approaching, so we're still good to do this. Oh no, get away. You know, I probably should have checked the time it started to approach, because I have no idea on the timing when it'll be imminent. Wait. Okay, it came from over there. Like, I thought I heard it in that direction, going towards my house. Like, that area should be clear, so I don't expect wolves there. So, two more skeps. Alright, let's get this done. One. Two. Okay, we're done. So... I guess we can just process this stuff while we wait. I'll, I guess I'll just leave the clay there. You know, at this point, we don't really need the honey for preserving food. Again, we're pretty much done with the food preservation. We have enough food to last through the winter. Everything else is just gravy. What I'm doing this for is mainly for the beeswax so that I can make candles for the lanterns. Because we're going to need a lot of lanterns. Now again, my goal for this play session is to finish the house. Or at least bring all of the functionality into the permanent house. One other thing, maybe I can make like a silver lantern. Get a, two of these plates, make a silver lantern and then put a silver plate into that silver lantern. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, are we ready to go now? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, it is four o'clock, so a temporal storm will hit around four fifty, and then that'll last like until. 10 o'clock. Yeah, I have everything ready to go. Armor's good. Health is good. Got a full stack of bandages. We're good to go. They're already spawning behind me. GLHF. Now, there was some resin in this area. So, we could probably... Or, I guess we're not going to pass by this area on the way back. I'm actually going to the agricultural trader. Because I do remember there is some resin there that I forgot to pick up in the last play session. So, we're gonna do that. It, there's a wall here. Oh. Here we go. This is where we go. 
So we're gonna go straight until we hit water and then we're gonna turn left. It looks like the water is right there. So I'm just going to put down a few torches because even during the daylight, it's still fairly dark during a temporal storm, especially a heavy temporal storm. So, oh, that's a drifter. But I do want to have some vision of the area. Oh, shit. There is some leaky pine around here. And I don't know where that is, but it's somewhere along the way. Alright, so we're gonna have to find that T. Also, I have to be careful around here because there all are like holes that I can fall into. Uh, this doesn't look right. Oh, there's the T. Okay, so I'm going to deposit bronze tools here. And there's some leaky pine here. Let's harvest that. Oh, that's a hole. So this is the area, I believe... Oh! <laughs> yeah, this is the area. Like, damn, this is why we need to light up the area. Uh, it's like the fog is so dense here. I can barely make out the torches in this area. So... Yeah, it's actually hard to see. It's like, it, it's so thick. You can just barely make out the torches in front of you, even though it's bright. Okay, 618. Okay, this fog is going to make it difficult because I can barely see what's in front of me. So, just gotta keep moving. Nothing behind me. Like, I know there's drifters around here. They're throwing rocks at me, but I have no idea where they are. They're probably over there on the other side of this pond. Here we go. You must be a deep drifter. Yeah. Like, the weaker drifters, like surface drifter and uh, deep drifter, they don't tend to have weapons on them. It's like they're just hitting you with their fists. It's the Tainted Drifter, the Corrupt Drifter, and the Nightmare Drifter. They all have, like, blades on their arms. That's how you can tell the difference. Like, see that guy right there? That's either a Corrupt Drifter or a Nightmare Drifter. That's Corrupt. Now, you can tell the difference between a Corrupt Drifter and a Nightmare Drifter because the Nightmare Drifter is going to be, like, all black, whereas the Corrupt Drifter has, like, shades of brown. Like a rust-colored brown. It's hard to tell in these conditions. So, all we can do is just keep moving. Now, there's a big cluster of drifters right over there. Like, I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last Temporal Storm. I'm going to try to find the double-headed drifters. Those are Nightmare Drifters. Except... Yeah, I can't find them. You know what? Start... Start wearing them out. Try to like stagger those spears 
Just so I can pick them up in different areas. And that was all of my spears. All right. Go pick these up. And this is what I'm talking about when I say stagger the spears. It's like while they're over there, where I hit them with the last spear, I can go over here to the other side and pick up the... Oh. Hmm, I killed someone. Oh, all right, that nightmare drifter. Yes, it just makes it easier to pick up the spears because they're all like in a death ball in one location and then I can pick up spears in another location. While I'm at it, might as well cut some of them up. I got the Tainted Drifter. Oh, wait. Oh! Oh. There's another one coming. That's a Deep Drifter. Now, the Double-Headed Drifters don't really look like Double-Headed Drifters, do they? It's kind of weird. Like, there's like... The Double-Headed Drifters basically have their face cut in half if you look real close but it's only because other than that it's like they only have one head it looks like it's just that their face was cut in half to make two I guess that's what makes them so double-headed other than that at the very least a double-headed drifter is distinguishable from the other drifters it just looks kind of weird to look at. Oh, come on. I'm not really aiming at one particular drifter. I'm just firing in their general direction. I'm gonna hit one of them. And if I could get multiple hits, so much the better. I haven't seen any double-headed drifters just yet. Oh, there's a deep drifter that I killed. Okay, there's one right there. Oh, I can't carve you. Alright, let's go. I completely missed that. I completely missed that. Okay, double hit. Now keep in mind, if a Nightmare Drifter or Double-Headed Drifter hits me, it's gonna do massive damage. Like even if I have armor on, it's gonna like take off like most of my health. It's better than dying though. I still haven't seen a double-headed drifter. Okay, can we carve this guy up? Yes, we can. Do we have time? No. I actually went over and clicked that X. You have nothing. Keep a moving. That's a nightmare. Oh! Fuck! That's what I was talking about. Fuck. That was a headshot. <laughs> That's more effect. Oh! You spawned right there. Took up that full stack of healing items, or nearly a full stack. Oh, fuck you. You know what? Go the other direction. Oh, there is another spear. Let's go take this. Uh, 
That was another hit that I did not want to take. I still haven't seen any of those uh, double-headed drifters. You know, I got all of my spears back, but I can't find any of them. Yes, they are a rare spawn indeed. Tainted drifter. Those are nightmare drifters. Yeah, I can't find any of them. Ow. There we go, double-headed drifter. Gonna start wearing you out. Oh, come on. Okay, there's a drifter there. Are you running away? You know, I took a hit during this temporal storm. I want you. I want you bad. Come back here. Come back here. No, you're a deep drifter. Where the hell did you go? Oh, there you are. Well, you can't spawn anymore, so... Let's take you on. And I haven't been killing drifters, so my st Oh! That was close. There we go. We need to get that double-headed drifter, but we do need to clear this place out first. So, another close call. Saved the day because of armor. Hey, I'm gonna get... Oh, I don't have a knife. Alright, five gears. When I say I don't have a knife, I mean like, this is almost worn out. Oh, come- oh, you pushed me right into that guy! Oh my god! Okay, now. Holy shit. That knockback. That could have ended badly. Jeez, how many spirits do you take? Damn. Fucking hell. Wow. Okay. Alright, you gave me a gear. How much do I have left? 73. Okay, so I have enough for clearing this... These guys out. Okay, we're still clear. Now keep in mind, there's still drifters around, so I do still have to be careful even though not in a temporal storm anymore. And there's this circle jerk over here. Throw a bunch of spears at them. Holy shit. I mean... I don't think I should be going in there. You know what I mean? 